I used to hate reading until I found out that leaders are readers. So coming up, I'm gonna tell you the seven books that you definitely need to read if you're an entrepreneur or inspired to be one. Let's go. All right, so I got my books here. I got a big old stack of them. And as you can see, I got books everywhere. And the reason I do is because reading is so important. A lot of people will say, oh man, I'll just check out the audio book or I'll watch the movie. There's something about reading and being able to see it on paper and go through it that's really important. So here's the seven books that I would read if you're either an entrepreneur or you're aspiring to be one. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go in order of what I think you should read them in too, depending on where you're at in your journey. So the first one, it's Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And this book is super important for your mindset. You have to think and believe that you're going to be rich before you do. If you don't and you just think you're going to be poor or you don't understand how to think bigger or get out of your own heads, then, I mean, you're going to stay there. And the thing about this book that's really important, it helped me get over my fears. It talks about the six basic fears that everyone experiences and how to kind of get through those. So Think and Grow Rich is definitely where you start. All right. As you see, I have a ton of them up here. I, I give these things out like crazy. The next book is Traction by Gino Wickman. Okay, this is a great book. If you're just starting your business, even if you have a business and you just need some more help, the subtitle is get a grip on your business and it's exactly what it means. It helps you really understand the fundamentals of business ownership, how to put systems in place, how to get things down on paper, how to act like a business owner. So definitely check out Traction. I know people who have hundreds of million dollar company, multi, multi millionaires, and this was one of the first books that they read on how to build their business. So check it out. The next one, I actually don't have a copy for because I let somebody borrow it, but that's good. It's okay. It's How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It's really important to understand how relationships work and how to get people bought into your idea. and It just makes the process so much better. So How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie is the next one I would read. After that, I would go to How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling by Frank Becker. This was actually referred by a friend of mine who's a big time salesperson in the real estate game. And this, I mean, obviously it talks about sales, right? It's all about how to sell things. And as you see from my earlier videos, I talk about having sales experience is gonna help your business take off. And this book really helped me understand that sales isn't just all about you know, the things that they teach you in these sales programs. One of the biggest things that, the, that this book brought to light is that enthusiasm and being excited and just getting in front of more people and having passion for what you do is gonna help you sell a lot more. So definitely check this book out. It'll help you with your sales. Next one is The Richest Man in Babylon by George Clausen. And this book is huge. It's a short read. You can see, you know, I think it's only like 100 pages. Yeah, it's less than 100 pages. But it really talks about the principles of money and what you should do with money. And, and one of the things that it says in the book that I really like is pay yourself first. So it's telling you how to not only make money, but how to build wealth and things that have stood the test of time. So if you're looking to build wealth, which we all are, check out The Richest Man in Babylon. It's a timeless classic. The next book is the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership now i talked about this in one of my earlier videos this is by far one of my favorite books and the title says it all it's about the laws of leadership right and if you want to be somebody big and have your company grow and all this you got to be a good leader there's just no other way to it you can be a really good salesman and make a lot of money but you're never going to scale and grow your company without leadership so check this book out Anything that John C. Maxwell puts out is going to be good. So I actually have some more of his books up here. So definitely check him out. The last one is The E-Myth by Michael Gerber. This book is great. It talks basically, it's, it's the E-Myth, like the entrepreneur myth. And it says why most small businesses don't work and what to do about it. And the story that it tells in there is about a woman who's super passionate about her business. And she gets all excited, but she gets stuck on the product and the things that don't really matter at the end of the day. 
It talks about how to put systems in place and how to really grow a company and not just a job where you can sell products or services. So definitely check out the E-Myth. It's one of my favorites and it was a complete mindset shift for me that I needed to grow my company and help it build. So these are the seven books that I recommend. If you're an entrepreneur or, you or you're aspiring to be an entrepreneur, I would order all these and just start going through them. This is going to help you make tons of money and become a better version of yourself. So if you have any questions, hit me up. I'd be happy to help you out. Hey, before you go, hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Let's go.